um, judge. I'm not letting you out on the street, Mr. Corner. Somebody else. We're not, we're not going to do six months. I'll set it. I'll set it to Monday. I was just walking by going home and the lady said, stop. Everything that you say they're using again, in, they're using against you, Mr. Coronado. Okay. Thanks. Please. Please. Probation office obtained written verification that indicated your last doctor's appointment was on August 28, 2023. The document advised that you were scheduled to return on December 8, 2023, but failed to do so to the doctor's office. Is that right? Yes, sir. Due to the time frame, this indicates the defendant would be out of her mental medications as of December 8, 2023. Of course, all medications that are prescribed must be taken. Do you understand? Yes. What happened on that? Um, I haven't missed taking my medication. Every time I go report, I have my medication on me. This says that that you were to return on December eighth. I guess to the to the VA. I haven't missed any appointments. Did you return on December eighth, twenty twenty three, as required? Did you or did you not? Yes, I did. This says she didn't. That's she told me she didn't. She had to call and then we were under the impression that it came from the court. Whenever a person's found not guilty by reason of insanity on a violent crime, you have the ability to either have them monitored to outpatient or inpatient. And I think you decided on this one outpatient. But I don't know. As, as far as if she's not following the regimen, then I think you can place her back. You can change your mind and, and have a hearing and put her back into. Uh, yeah, I don't know what my remedies are. I think that's which is what would be to put her back in a hospital or put her in a hospital if she's not doing it outside because it was a violent crime that I think she was charged with. Okay. If you did order the GPS device in, uh, Looks like October of 2022. So, Mr. Spock, please raise your right hand. You just wear all kind of information in the spot which is proving correct. Okay, who's the uh, prosecutor on this one? Special prosecutor. Special we can't, prosecutor. Judge. We can't be involved. <clears throat> Who's your attorney? Um, it was Mr. Wilkerson. Okay, Th this is the case where it's a review, right? Because uh -huh. uh, not re uh, not guilty by reason of insanity, outpatient based treatment, coordinated by community supervision. Okay, so. This has already been disposed of. Now she is on a post disposition community supervision treatment program. How's that going? Everything with Ms. Ambry is going really well. She's done everything I've asked her to do. She's not missed one appointment with me. That's right. And I did ask her for the VA because they wouldn't give it to me, but her uh, records and she brought them up to me. Good. So I can see that she is on her meds. She is seeing the doctor. So what's next? What do we do next? 
I ha uh, probation has no, I mean, she's done everything that we've asked her to do. And I don't see anything that she would need to do further. She's done a, she's gone to the doctor for a year, taken her meds for a year. As long as she stays on her meds, everything would be fine. So, but how do we monitor staying on the meds? What what happens if she doesn't follow the medical treatment properly? She runs the risk of having another episode. Okay. And then what ha what would happen if that happened? What would the court have to do? If anything. There's no way that, that really we can follow it other than getting records from the VA. Uh, okay. But what what orders do I have over her right now, if any? <laughs> there was some sort of a treatment program, but what is the okay? This occurred back in January of last year that you were found not guilty by reason of insanity. I uh, ordered this case to be supervised by the probation office for no less than one year. So it's been more than a year. Yes, sir. A couple of things though, this is, she was supposed to return on December 8th, but failed to do so. And during that time frame indicates the defendant would have been out of her medical medications as of December 23. Then additionally, the defendant failed to adhere to the conditions of GPS monitoring from Johnny's auto. She's currently behind $575 for the device. And it's been without power since November, so that's been worthless. She does have it on again. I believe there was a time there where uh, she lost the job that she had and was unable to make payments to the GPS, and that's when we came into some problems with So it. what is the court's authority on having any type of uh, supervision over this lady? at this state do we know yes it's i'm asking you do you know uh, from the probation georgia there is something that uh, allows this court supervision for no less than a year i'm not guilty by reason of sanity which continuing jurisdiction of dangerous acquitted person which is, I think, what we have here under 46C158. So the court retains jurisdiction over the acquitted person until the court discharges the person and terminates its jurisdiction or the cumulative total period of institutionalization and outpatient or community-based treatment and supervision under the court's jurisdiction equals the maximum term provided by law for the offense for which the person was acquitted. This was aggravated assault, I believe, which is a second degree felony. So I have authority of a 20 year block period, technically, uh, that I can, uh, I have authority over uh, the uh, defendant here. I don't intend to do that, but I just want to make sure mm -hmm. that, that she's, that this probation office feels comfortable in her, in the I super feel very comfortable with her being on her own. I, I mean, the only thing I can say is with any human that's on got a mental health issue, then we've got the, the medication problem. That if they get off their beds, they kind of go back down that spiraling hole and and in this uh, case but that can be with anybody so in this case what has been the situation about the medical situation has she, she has been, she has been on them for the year uh without any problem without any problem she, anytime right. she had to cancel the doctor's appointment i can see where she made it up and her meds have been kept current okay what
What I want to do is it's it's been a year. The the judgment of acquittal was December 9th. What I want, what what I'm going to do is I'd like it to it, like to have at least a two year period of time here that we know that she has a steady all the conditions are being served properly like johnny's and any other time periods i want all those done which shouldn't be a big deal uh and if that is done at uh, in december of this year instead of doing 20 years we'll just do two how's that good um thank you for letting me speak um for me to um to renew this my supervisor is recommending yep. to take me off of this is her what are you talking about she's my supervisor no no who taking off a of one she she's she's saying that i've been doing good for the past year she doesn't see any reason for me to stay on this regimen she said Who's your she, super, oh, she is my okay. supervisor she's my probation oh, oh you're talking about her yes sir okay she's she's recommending to take me off it's her decision no it's so not I, it's my decision it's, it's in it's in the order ma'am it's my decision okay she and, can recommend it's I'm the judge, not her. I'm the judge. It's my court order, not George Ann's. She doesn't sign it. My order. You fail to follow the order, you can be held in contempt of court. We don't want to do that. Just and there's no argument about it. That's the rule. So it's not a debate. We're not even going to waste time. On it alone before I renew anything. It's in it's 46 C. 261. I was supposed to be appointed a lawyer before I renew anything. I have to be evaluated before I renew anything. Those are the procedures that are supposed to happen before I sign anything. Okay. You're misreading that statute. You're under this court's supervision right now. You've been acquitted, except the court retains supervision. I can retain supervision for, in this case, 20 years. But that's not what you want, is it? You don't want to be supervised by me for 20 years, do you? I me neither. I don't either. But you don't dictate the terms. I'm, I do. I'm yes, you are. Yes, you are. You number one told me that she's in control of the case. I am not her. She works for this court. Yes, she's and the and, monitoring and so when you keep interrupting me, you, you keep interrupting me when I speak. That's rude. We learned that in second grade. Unless you can, unless you can follow the rules, not only of decorum, but the rules that this court sets, which are the rules for everyone. Don't interrupt the court. Follow the rules of supervision here between Johnny's during this past year, between the Johnny's situation uh, and uh, the other uh, money, the supervision. And where are you working with? I work at a church. At a church. How much do you get paid in that? $13.50. Okay. Is it full time? No, sir. I only get $30 a week. Okay. Are you looking for other work? No, sir. That's it's it's able to pay the bills that I have, but with the ankle monitor addition, it's gonna it's gonna cause some problems. I know. Whenever I whenever you can't pay the bills. The, once we first decided this, you said the only condition I would have was mm -hmm. taking medication. You told me that once I got my probation officer, I would be able to take off my ankle monitor. The ankle monitor. No, I didn't say it that way. It's, it's in the record, and we'll go and pull it, and I'll read it to you. And if you're wrong, then we'll point that out. But that's not the word. I do. I've done a thousand, thousands, and thousands of cases. I know the way these work. Then I do the same thing. They repeat. But the the monitor thing, why do we have a monitor on her in the first place? Why did we do that? Because I bonded out and it was a condition to my bond, so I'm not longer on bond. And you told me once I got with my probation officer, she can make a decision to take the informant yeah. off. I'm, she, I make the decision. But is there any reason why we ought to have that? No, sir. Then, then it's dropped. Let's drop it. Yeah, um, there's been no issue with that other than. Okay, okay. Then that's relieved out of this case. 
The other is the maintenance of the medication, mm -hmm. which is foremost because that's the only way that's the your treatment regimen and you have to follow that. I just have one more thing. My med medication records at the VA are all messed up. They have big gaps in it, but I have the prescription bottles to show that I had medication at that time. So I don't know how to go forward and their records are still going to be messed up. I want up. you to ask her to look into that if I need to get involved. The problem is with the Veterans Administration, they're the federal government. And I don't have authority over the federal government. What I, mean, I have authority she's given over the state to me government. From before, but well, what, what's it, it what's, require? What is that imp imperative for? Why are we not concerned? What we would need from probation would be uh, the medication list and her to bring in her pill bottles when she came to see me. Okay. okay. That would be the only change. Okay. Well, try to get that done. If you can't, you can't. But the feds, I can't order them to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let me review this in about three months and see where we are. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Thank you. Get a resetting, please. On Scott, Mr. Scott, I find you to be indigent and a uh,